Let's talk about Square Inventory Management. Is it the best tool or what? So here's the overview I want you to pay attention to. So when you think about Score Inventory Management, I want you to really keep your expectations very reasonable. You're not going to have like a, an end-to-end, -end, very sophisticated inventory management tool, no. You're gonna have something basic, yes. It does, it does get the job done, yes. But you have to really make sure, again, that your expectations are in line with what the software can actually provide. So while Square Inventory's basic tools can be useful, it falls really short of what most business owners would consider an actual inventory management system. Now, it's all about your needs though, boss. I'm not saying that this is bad. I'm not saying inventory management, that like Square Inventory Management software is bad. It's all about what you're looking for because Square is one of the leading payment processing providers on the market. So when you think about POS point of sale, you are thinking about Square. But does it really have, does it really provide a sophisticated software for inventory management? Not really. So let's talk about that. So Square's inventory offerings are not really, really that sophisticated, but hey, listen, it is great for Square users with basic needs. So if you are a Square user right now, you listen to me and you have basic needs, then you will love Square inventory management capabilities because the, the whole thing here is that it's all about you, you actually saving money. It's all you, it's all about you tracking orders, tracking items in and out of your warehouses or your, uh, your, your retail operations. So it's really cool. By the way, boss, welcome back to the show. It's really a pleasure to have you here to have a quick convo with you about Square Inventory Management. So when we talk about this tool, again, it is great, it's better for Square users. And uh, so it's free for, with any Square account. It's very easy to use, nothing complicated, and you have a free online store included. So this is really great. What about the cons here? The functionality is too limited for most businesses. So again, once you actually get out of the, if you get out of the, the Square ecosystem, then this tool, this Square inventory management uh, tool loses its value. But once you are within the ecosystem, you will find it very, very great for a lot of things. You can actually, as I said, it doesn't matter whether you have a, a large Square, like a large retail uh, store or a smaller re retail operation. As long as you use uh, Square POS and Square, let's say, a POS capabilities, you will love their, you will love uh, the platform's inventory management tool as well. So this is really cool, and this this helps you actually maintain st strict control over your supply chain, no matter what. But you're not having a sophisticated tool that is uh, as advanced as, uh, let's say, Odoro or Sim Seven, for example. So let me talk to you about the suitability. I mean, you you know already, when we talk about suitability, we're speaking about the pros and cons, right? So what are the pros and cons of Square Inventory? Pros, it is free with any Square account. It's very easy to use. So the thing is, you know what? When you think about Square Inventory, ask yourself, do you currently have a Square account? Yes, check, okay, then you have it. Then the Square Inventory tool comes with it, it's free. You don't even have to sign up for Square for Retail, Okay, but the thing is, if you are going to use like, uh, if you if you are within a, let's say you're a Square user and you want to have uh, access to advanced features for inventory management, you might have to pay a little extra, but it, it is still good because you are within the Square ecosystem. So in our view, if you're familiar, if you're already familiar with the Square dashboard, you can see all the capabilities, all the modules I'm talking about to kind of help you manage your inventory better. So it doesn't matter if you have a Square POS, you will love this tool. Okay, by the way, boss, I want to quickly remind you of a today's topic. We're talking about Square Inventory Management. This is an in-depth review. So you have a clear idea what you're getting yourself into if you want to consider uh, this, this tool. So bottom line is what? So in terms of pros, it's very easy to use and it comes free of charge if you have a Square account. What about the cons? Now you have limited warehousing features. You have zero invoicing features and you have no manufacturing features. That's what I was just saying earlier. Earlier, My point is, once you actually are out of uh, Square's, Square's ecosystem, if your needs are complex, if your needs are advanced, if your needs for inventory management are really, really uh, granular, you're not going to find uh, any luck with uh, this Square inventory management. It's going to be a waste of time. You'll be frustrated and uh, no. So be very clear about your, your expectations. So what we talk about limited warehousing feature, I mean, Square Inventory is by no means a total inventory management service. Do not compare it uh, to with Sin7. Do not compare with Inflow. Do not compare with uh, with Ordoro. Do not compare with uh, other with uh, Zoho inventory for that matter. Okay, and it's really important because you know Square offers fairly limited functionality. 
It doesn't let you manage invoices, create bills or materials, or use most of the other customizable features offered by most full-featured options on the market. And basically, Square Inventory pretty much only works for basic retail businesses with a limited number of items and a relatively simple supply chain. And manufacturers are pretty much straight out of luck. Let's talk about pricing. I want you to look right now on the screen. And so when we talk about Square Inventory plans and pricing, the thing is that Square provides actually free inventory management features for anyone with a Square account. So it comes as part of your credit card processing. So there is not really an option to sign up for only inventory management. So Square allows you to track inventory items and perform other basic inventory management tasks no matter what. And so no matter what Square account that you have, but you will need to get a Square POS system. So you got to have the point of sale tool. If you don't have it, then you don't, you know, you don't really uh, have uh, the, the inventory management capability. So the thing is that I, I'm going to quickly talk to you about the, the, the plans and prices for Square for retail. This is actually the Square's POS product that you need to have to actually unlock the inventory uh, in the inventory management functionality. So you have the free plan and then you have the plus plan. And then you have the premium. So this trifecta, free, plus, and premium. So when you have the free plan, you're, you're not paying anything. But for in-person transactions, you're paying 2.6% plus 10 cents. For online processing, you have 2.9% plus uh, 30 cents. So you have a free retail POS app, free online store, basic inventory tools, and exchanges. If you go with the plus plan, you, have, you are paying $60 per month per location. And this is like 2.5% plus 10 cents per transaction, then you have a 2.9, this is for in-person, and for online, you are paying 2.9% plus 30 cents. Here you have all, all the tools, all the features for the free, plus advanced inventory controls, you have advanced retail reports, and you have unlimited team management. For the premium plan, the price is available upon request, and you have processing rates will uh, also are available upon request. So everything is uh, available upon request. You have to contact Square for that. And the, the features, you have everything that you have on the plus plan, plus physical, you have physical gift cards, you have discounts on Square Payroll, Square Loyalty, and Square Marketing. So Square does have other programs in place, not just the inventory, not just the POS, you have uh, the payroll, the loyalty, and the, and the marketing. So you actually can avail yourself of those features as well. So just make sure that when you actually, uh, you know, the plans above do not factor in the extra cost of Square's payment processing hardware, the hardware. While Square does give you does give you as a user a free card reader, most businesses wind up upgrading to a more advanced Square reader, which can cost anywhere from forty nine dollars to eight hundred dollars, depending on the model you choose. So be aware of that. Let me talk to you about the features. So, you know, basically I've already established the fact that Square inventory management is very basic. It's a, it's really, a, it's a, something that is a great for Square users, but it, does it even have any features at all? Like if you were to go with uh, this uh, tool or this uh, capability, what are the features you can expect? Well, Square offers a lot of products. Square marketing, Square for payroll, Square team management. You get the idea. The good news is that you get basic inventory management features with any Square account. So. The, the, so, with, so first of all, you have to think about whether you have a square for retail or you don't have it, right? Because the capabilities you have, the capabilities you have are different. So, without square for retail, without if you don't have if you don't have that plan, the inventory options available through Square are extremely, extremely limited. Basically, Square can track your inventory levels automatically, so you can spend less time doing daily manual syncs between your inventory records and accounting records. Square also sends daily stock alert emails to help you recognize when inventory items are running low. And you can also update items within your, uh, let's say your item library to ensure you've got the most recent data for every product in your catalog. But that's generally it. Nothing more complicated, nothing more advanced. By the way, boss, I want to quickly remind you of today's topic. We're having a conversation about Square inventory management, and this is an in-depth review. So I'm, I'm giving you all the ins and outs so you have a clear idea of what you're getting yourself into if you want to buy this, uh, if you want to get this uh, this uh, tool. So without a Square for retail, I just gave you what you can expect. What about if you had a Square for retail account? So with, a, with Square for retail, once you get a Square for retail plan, you can start enjoying more advanced inventory management features. 
So with Square for Retail, you can manage items across multiple geographies, multiple warehouses, and stores. You can submit purchase orders via the online Square dashboard, print barcode labels, and uh, track both vendors and customers. And uh, one thing we love here is the free online store that comes with your POS system, okay? So you're able to build a, a an online store where you can actually, uh, you know, increase revenue. So Square for Retail includes a free online store, with the, which is really both professional looking and easy to build. It's a bit simplistic though, but hey, listen, it, look, it looks great. Even on a free Square for Retail plan, you can build an online store that allows you to sell e-gift cards and integrates with your Instagram accounts, but only with uh, your Instagram as far as we can tell. And uh, you can also accept online payments through your store and allow your customers to pick up their items in store. So the capabilities there are just fantastic. And if you opt to pay for your Square for Retail plan on a yearly basis instead of monthly, you can even send abandoned card emails, process ex exchanges, and manage all your team members on a single platform. So this centrality of things is really great. What about integrations? Let's talk about integrations. So what are the Square integrations? So if you go, if you're thinking about Square inventory management, what are the integrations you need to expect? You need to really at least think about. Now, Square is compatible with pretty much every major business service on the market. If not, you can use Zapier, okay? So this allows your system to interact uh, like a very, in a very seamless way with other services. So you don't have to waste time actually on Friday night or Saturday morning trying to reconcile things or trying to make, uh, let's say, apps work with each other, talk to each other. No, you, you know, Square does have an API. Also, if, if you have problems in terms of uh, integrations, you can use Square APIs or you can actually uh, have third-party plugins. Not a problem at all, okay? And so if you integrate Square with your accounting service, for example, your system will be able to automatically port over inventory transactions into your accounting system, which basically, if you, if you really think about it, boss, it reduces errors in your records, not to mention the time you spent, again, buried in your accounting ledgers, your trial balances, all that kind of stuff. I mean, you know, good stuff, but hey, listen, you have a business to run anyway, okay? So Square is compatible with uh, the following popular business services. So you have accounting and tax, booking and scheduling, delivery and orders, e-commerce, field services, form builders, healthcare, insurance, invoicing and services. You have items and inventory, marketing and analytic analytics, your point of sale, restaurant, team management, ticketing and events. So when we let me give you a few names here. So for accounting and tax, we have TurboTax, Zero, Intuit, QuickBooks, Zoho Books, Commerce. For booking and scheduling, we have GoDaddy Appointments, Wix Booking. For delivery and, and orders, we have uh, the ordering app, Co-Parrot, Craver. For e-commerce, we have WooCommerce, Magento, Wix, BigCommerce, GoDaddy websites. We have for, for field services, you have a Breeze Workouts, Breeze Works rather. Form builders, you have JotForm, Cognito Form, Wofu. For healthcare, you have Dr. Chromo, EHR, and RCM. Insurance, you have in broker. Invoicing and, and services, you have 17 hats. Items and inventory, Stitch Labs, Loyalty and Rewards, Top Mango. Marketing and, and uh, analytics, you have uh, MailChimp. For a point of sale, you have Touch Bistro. For restaurants, you have a Fresh KDS. For a team management, you have Homebase. And for ticket, ticket and events, you have uh, Simple Ticks, Brush Fire, and so on and so forth, Eventzilla. Let me talk to you about the rivals because when we talk about square inventory management, of course you have uh, other players in the industry that are doing way better than than uh, than Square. Now, Square, its inventory management is not its forte, so don't try, don't blame Square. I mean, you know, without blaming, it's just that you have to keep your expectations very low with Square. So, I want to talk to you about Ordoro, Zoho Inventory, Sin Seven, Observe, and Inflow Inventory. So when you think about Square, the starting price is zero dollar. You have barcode and QR labels, yes. E-commerce capability, yes. For the, on the platform, you have a web-based application. For Adoro, you are paying like a five hundred dollars. That's the starting price. Very, very. Uh, it's not really uh, cheap. <laughs> five hundred dollars per month when billed annually. You have barcode and QR labels, yes. You have e-commerce integration, yes. Platforms operating system. You have a web-based application. For Zoho inventory, you have a like zero dollar. The starting price. You have barcode and QR labels, yes. You have e-commerce uh, capability, yes. You have a, in terms of platform and operating system, you have an online-based application with uh, mobile apps for iOS and Android. 
for Synth 7, for example, you have another uh, another player that's very good. You have a uh, $400, $400 as the starting price per month, of course, and uh, barcode and QR labels, yes, and e-commerce integration, yes. And this is a cloud-based service working with Mac, PC, and iPad. And you also have uh, Observe. Here you are looking at $200 per month plus $50 POS, the, the POS uh, terminal. And uh, there is no barcode and QR label here. And uh, the e-commerce functionality is present. Yes, of course, you have an online web-based application with mobile apps for iOS and Android. So this is really fantastic. What about Inflow Inventory? Another big player here, one of our favorite, by the way. You have, uh, it's like $89 per month. That's the starting price if filled annually. You have you have a barcode and QR labels, yes. You have e-commerce capabilities, yes. And uh, the platform's uh, operating system, this, the tool is available for Windows and online with uh, mobile apps for iPhone and Android. And it's not available on Mac. So if you are a Mac user, you're not going to really appreciate to have an inflow inventory. But so here you have it. So you have all the other players. There are all like all those players, Odoro, Zoho Inventory, Sin7, Observe, and Inflow Inventory offer way more, way, 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 way more functionalities than uh, Square Inventory Management once you get out of uh, the Square ecosystem. Once your your inventory management needs becomes more sophisticated, you know you don't want to use a Square for, for inventory tracking. You want to use one of those players I just gave you. So what is our verdict? Square inventory management, go or no go? Well, we have a short answer. Our answer is it depends on your needs. So ideally, we'll say go with Square inventory management. Yes. If you are currently using Square and you are using the Square POS and you don't have the free plan, but you, you are actually, you have a, one of the paid plans. So you can access like the Square, the, the inventory management sophisticated features you have, sophisticated, quote unquote, sophisticated on the Square platform, then go go with the uh, Square POS. Go with Square Inventory Management. If you if your if your needs are basic, if your needs are not really complex, if you just need to know what, what's coming in the store, what's going out, then yeah, go with Square Inventory Management. No problem. You're not going to soft. You're not going to uh, have any uh, like you're not losing anything because everything is integrated into the Square ecosystem. You have a proper analytics, you have a timely uh, deliveries, you have timely uh, reporting, not a problem. It, the date that your needs becomes a little complex or you don't use Square POS, even if you use Square POS, but your needs become complex, you are having multiple warehouses, you have multiple goods, you have you have needs to uh, monitor stocks, you need, you need to monitor stock, you need to monitor uh, parts, supplies, and what have you. You need to monitor, you need to manage relationships with vendors, you need to uh, manage relationships with suppliers. Once your needs become convoluted, then I would say do not go with Square Inventory Management. That will be a waste of time, that will be an operational blunder, that will be, uh, that will instill, that will uh, insert in your operation some inefficiencies that you can't, you can't afford to have. Because see, the thing is that, you know, once you, once your needs becomes more complex, you will need end-to-end -end inventory management software with all the, all the constellation of features that come with the search tool. Okay. And uh, you can only have it with uh, players such as Odoro, Zoho Inventory, Sin7, Observe, Inflow Inventory. There's nothing bad with a square inventory management. It's just that square inventory management is not basically a, um, I would say, a priority area. Like inventory management is not a priority area for square as of the date of this show. Maybe tomorrow that will change. Yes. So square hasn't really allocated as much resources as they did for for POS, for example. POS, they're the, they the leader. Credit card processing, they're the leader, one of the leaders. But inventory management, mm -mm, they're probably like in the back of uh, the list, back of the queue, you know? Thank you so much for your attention. I really appreciate it. In today's conversation, I was just talking to you about Square Inventory Management. With Square, I gave you the overview, the suitability, the pricing, the features, the integrations, the rivals, and the verdict. Thank you. God bless you. I'll speak to you another time. But until then, remember, stay... Marvelous.